Hey, I'm Bassmaster Pro Jimmy Mason. Today I want to talk about the equipment I use for frog fishing. Uh, growing up at Lake Gunnersville, you know, that was one of the frog capitals and, and frog fishing was something we did a great deal of. And, I, and after years, I think I found the perfect setup for my frog fishing. I'm using the Dobbins 735 uh, with a split handle in the Savvy series. This is a real light and tough bait casting rod. It's, it's, a, it's a medium heavy to a heavy, but it's got a good flexible tip. Uh, but it's got plenty of backbone when you load up on a fish. Uh, that flexible tip, you know, a lot of times I'm going to fish a fr my frog in both areas of heavy mats and also scattered mats. So I need a little bit of tip to walk the bait between those mats. And also when you're, you know, covering a lot of water on mats, you, that extra tip gives you a little more, um, a little more control of your frog as you're walking it over that mat. So I like having a little tip, and this rod's got the perfect amount, uh, not... Excuse me. Um, not so much that you that it's just like fishing with a broomstick, but you got uh, good control of your bait. Reel wise, I lose I use a loose Super Duty. Uh, this reel is built for Brady line. It's really tough. Uh, it's lightweight at eight ounces, and it holds a 160 yards of 65 pound braid. It allows you to make really long casts back in the mats because you know fishing the hydrilla mats, which in the late fall that's where, at Gunnersville, that's where a lot of the tournaments are won. You have to cover a lot of water. Uh, looking for schools of fish uh, through those mats. Those, the same fish that if the grass wasn't there, you'd be catching cranking. Those are what you're looking for with your frogs. So you're going to cover, at times, half a mile of mats before you hit that, that school. Uh, and by making a really long cast, you're able to, to cover it better and cover it faster. And that's one thing this loose Super D does. Braid, uh, line-wise, 65 pound braid to me is a must. That's, not, that's the only line I use for it, vicious 65 pound braid. Um, you know, it helps you get the hook in the fish quick and helps you get them out of that heavy matted vegetation.